Kachala Ari fled his village in northeastern Nigeria during a Boko Haram raid. He lost everything except his trade. He's been a woodcarver for 15 years. Like many in this camp for displaced people, Ari is delighted he still has a job. We are not suffering in the camp because we can work. We are able to buy grain, soap and clothes for our children and families. But there's a looming problem. The forest where they get their wood is shrinking. The displaced people here rely on it not only to make a living. It's also the only source of fuel for many people in the camp. And environmentalists are warning of deforestation. With the increased population of uh, the people in this area, the demand for wood consumption is always proportional to the population. And for that reason, the assault on the vegetation, the natural vegetation, is so much that there is a very high depletion of the wood resources. And uh, this depletion is uh, translating to exposure of the land to uh, desertification. The UN says more than 300,000 internally displaced people live in similar camps in the region. We get chased by Boko Haram sometimes when we go to the forest. Even today they burn down two of our cars and reduce them to ash. We live in difficulty. In this situation we can only survive through firewood so we can feed our families. Nigeria has the highest deforestation rate in the world according to the United Nations. It's losing trees partly because of the Boko Haram crisis and a lack of reforestation. Also compounding the problem is that for these victims of the terror group, money really does grow on trees. Adeshewa Josh, TRT World.